What is up, plant people? Today I have a really exciting video for you guys. Of course, I am going plant shopping. Do you ever have those days where like you have so much to do? Like you have to do laundry, you have to clean, you have to make money. But then you're like, but I could just go plant shopping and then do that stuff later. So today I'm going plant shopping. Um, it's just the answer to all my problems. It's really just, um, if I don't... If I don't know what to do, well, I mean, I know what to do. I have a lot of stuff to do, but like plant shopping just sounds like the better option. So I'm going to my favorite greenhouse today. I'm going to show you guys around a little bit and I'm going to do a little haul. So this is another casual video i'm literally like still in my pajamas it's just a t-shirt and shorts but like it's a cat it's raining outside and it's like 12 in the afternoon and we're just gonna go plant shopping it's fall time in new jersey it is fall time in new jersey okay guys so i am in the parking lot and on my way here i was really just thinking about like why do certain things make people so happy like when i looked at my gps and i saw i was four minutes away i literally like felt happy inside i was so excited to like see the plants plants really just make me so content and happy and like and i know it's not plants for everyone it's like something different for everyone and it's like, where does that come from? It's weird how we like all find our own thing that we really love. And it's just like really interesting. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. I don't think there's that many people here because there's not that many cars. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm, I really can't spend too much money. Like do not let me spend too much money, please. <laughs> I definitely talk way too much. Hello, sir. Gotta go, bye. Also, how cute is my new mask? I literally got this at a gas station. I got it at Quick Check. And it's like very cute. It has a monstera leaf and this is probably some sort of palm or something. I don't know, but it's really, really cute. And I got another one in another color. It's a little bit different. And I really like them both. It's pretty comfortable. It's kind of like crushing my ear up here, but it's cute look at those pothos oh my god the leaves are huge stop 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 this oh my gosh These are my favorite Maranta ever. Really cute. This looks like some sort of Hoya or lipstick plant. This is a Hoya though. Look at this. Might have to get one of these. Mine died. I love these. It's 
so cute. Found succulents. Look at this little burrow's tail. Look at all the succulents and cactuses. Look at that. I love these sands of areas. They're really pretty. In my opinion, look at this aloe. <gasps> Gorgeous. There's no price. $9.95. That's so pretty. And look at this one. Pedantis. It's pretty dark in here because it's raining. Love these. Mine died. How much is this? No price, but she's gorge. Look at this. And there's this one. I think it's a Macaulay's finale. Or Prince of Lions. I'm getting this for sure. So pretty. Look at all the bonsai. Okay guys, so I just pulled into my driveway and honestly I spent a lot more than I wanted to. I honestly wanted to spend around like 50 and I actually spent like 150 which I really didn't have the budget for. So I'm going to show you which ones I got. Some I got that I'm going to propagate and eventually put on my shop. But let me just start so i showed you guys when i was filming in there these maranta um you know prayer plants and they're like the gray ones and they are really honestly so beautiful like i just want to make more because i want like people to have them because they're just really beautiful they're honestly like in my opinion the easiest out of the prayer plants that I have, I have like the lemon lime one and I have the red one. And I feel like this one really, it's just so pretty. It's prettier in person. So I got a couple of these and hopefully I can like uh, propagate some and um, eventually put some on my shop for you guys to have. I got this ooh, Calancho, which I love these Calanchos. Like they are just very hardy. They're pretty much the easiest one to care for, in my opinion, and they're fuzzy. They're just like very structural. <clears throat> they're just very structural and I don't know, I really, really like these ones. So, got her, got a few of these. Next, I got this Calathea, which is such a pretty girl. I think I killed mine. Yeah, I think I killed it. This one, I am going to water with distilled water, okay? I'm gonna keep it looking good, and that's my goal. So, got her. It's really, really pretty, and I figured, let me just give her a shot. Let me just give her a shot. I don't know if I ever had this variety. I don't think I did. 
Next up is this beautiful begonia. I've had this before and I think I still, yeah, I still have it, but it's just not doing well. And this is like a really big one and it is so pretty, it's so gorgeous that I just, I had to get it. So I got this girl and I can't wait to take some leaves from her and propagate and make more. Um, come on now. It's so pretty and it's a pretty good size. Uh, this leaf is pretty big, but uh, so pretty. I'm, I really love begonias and I don't know. It's not really the way they grow because honestly, they are pretty, they're pretty difficult to grow for me. Um, it's just how they look. They're just so pretty and the colors and I don't know. I got a lot of begonias. I got this one and I'm not sure if it's different than that one. I think it is, but look at her. Look at the silver. Oh my God. And the size of this leaf. Come on. Like I couldn't pass her up and the stems are fuzzy wuzzy. You just can't, you can't, you just can't pass this up, so. I was wondering when the garbage men would come. So anyway, I got this, um, she's so gorgeous, come on. Look, look at her! And they're not that cheap, like, either. I just had to get it. Ugh. Oh my god, these are so hard to get out because they're very snug in this box and I'm really trying not to damage leaves here. Um, this is the next begonia I got. I've had this once before too and then it got eaten by mealybugs. So this one we're going to keep a close eye on, but it's so pretty. Come on, look at the dots on the outside. There's so much to it, okay? Like there's the dark in the center, then it goes to like hot pink. Then it goes to this beautiful green with white, like, silver dots. And then the out, mm, the outer portion of the leaf is like a black. It's like a purpley black. And then the undersides of the leaves. Ooh. Come on. Can't beat it. Such a beaut. Come on. Oh, it looks like a carnival in a plant. It's a carnival and a plant. Come on. So we got her. Next begonia is this big beauty girl. And like, I, I kept going back and forth in my head. Do I get this? Do I not get this? And I, I, I kind of decided like, I kind of want it. It's really pretty. It's a really dark green foliage. It's really healthy and it seems like it's growing really good. And it's actually like a maroonish color when it comes out. And it is really, really pretty. And I can just picture it growing up tall. And I'm like, I just got it. I just, I just got it, okay? I'm on a begonia craze, okay? Moving away from the begonias. I need to hold this here because now I can't put it back in the box. This is, you know what, the Calathea White Fusion. And I don't know if I'll be able to take care of her. But look how pretty she is. I couldn't pass her up. That's just, come on, now that's stunning. I'm gonna put her in my greenhouse and just really hope for the best because this is really gorgeous. Like, I have to say I tried. I have to say I tried. So I got a Calathea White Fusion. Oh my God, everything's falling over so I can't put them back in. Ugh. Next up, I got a few of these. Calancho, Mother of Thousands. Pretty sure this is Mother of Thousands. And it's just in this little pot. They definitely need water, but I think they'll be okay. It doesn't really look like it right now, but trust me, it's a Mother of Thousands. So, I forgot a begonia. This is the last begonia that I got. I I've had this before. I might still have it. I don't remember, but um, come on. She's pretty she's a pretty one look at this so much cement i probably did that so much dimension and color and texture and patterns and 
character in one little plant's fuzziness and everything you could ever want in a plant. So I had to get her. I don't have space for her and I don't have a pot for her and I didn't even have the money for her but somehow I managed to get her. So no one even know what this type of begonia is. It's some sort of Rex begonia. Um, but honestly and I said this to someone who commented on one of my videos like I think people can get so hung up on names like names like it's cool to know the names and stuff like of course like I I try to know the names but like I don't think we should get too hung up on it because like they don't really mean that much people make up names people put na different names on the same plant different sellers like have different names or there's variations of different plants and people make that seem like a whole new plant with a new name and like it just gets confusing so I really just try to focus on the plant and the the color texture everything about the plant itself um you know the name is kind of irrelevant anyway especially with begonias because like there's so many hybrids and there's so many like crosses and stuff where sometimes like we don't even know the real name and they really change depending on their environment like the light and the darkness and like different things so people like my begonia dark mamba might look totally different than someone else's i think that's pretty much all i got i got a more i got a few more like um 2.5 inch succulents for my shop but that's pretty much it and yeah those begonias were like 14 dollars each so that's really what brought up my price because i there's a caterpillar on my leg and i have to get it out because i that was icky <laughs> Um, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me plant shopping. I'm going to really, really try to be productive now, um, even though I don't want to. But I know once I am, I'll feel better because right now I just feel very unproductive. <laughs> I thought it was on my leg again. Yeah, I really hope you guys just enjoyed my video. Comment down below what you want to see next. Thank you so much for tagging along. My name's Jen. Subscribe to my channel if you catch my vibe and if you love plants. And I will see you guys in my next video.